Hello! Um, I don't even know where to start. It's been how many months? It's been too many months. Um, let's see what's happened. Uh, the pandemic. Um, I don't know if it's affected you in any way, but it's, um... It's happened. I... Ooh, I've done nothing. So let's see, since March I've read maybe one book. No, 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 no. I've started several books. Have I read any and completed any? Maybe one? I don't even remember if I did. But yeah, that's that's what's happened. Oh wait, no, I did read one book. Last month, literally in September, I read Horrid by Katrina Leno. And it was amazing. If you guys haven't read it, I do you should. It it's so spooky. It's like not spooky spooky, but it's suspenseful spooky. I don't know. It was good. Anyway, yeah, no, I haven't done anything. I think I recorded a video of me opening my iPad Pro unboxing video. I was gonna do an unboxing video for you guys, and I just didn't. Like, I recorded it, and I started editing it, but that's it. It went nowhere. I am back, and here with one of my classics. Ready? I will create unboxing. And this time, it's for the October box. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm, I'm actually... Like gonna surprise myself with this one so let's see how it goes also if you've noticed I got myself a new friend and her name his name whatever they want to be it's floopy if you've noticed I'm in a new place yeah that's another thing maybe another video you'll get more videos <laughs> but yeah I moved into a new place across the country and here I am anyway Let's let's start this unboxing. <laughs> and also, welcome to Boot to Books. So, this is the box. This is the October box right here. The little menu card. And of course, the theme of the month was Legends and Lore. Let's see what it contains. I'm actually very intrigued. The September box was so good. Yeah, it was like one of my favorite boxes in a really long time. So I'm excited. Owl Crate has just been proving me, well, not wrong, because I've never said they suck, but they've just been amazing. Holy crap, wait, okay. So I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this. It's a weird shape, but apparently it's a bookish bowl cozy. All right, wait, I need to read. What do people, mm, enjoy hot soups and stews while keeping your fingers cool with your new bowl cozy? Oh, uh, this is designed by Janine Lacour. I'm sorry if I send, said your name wrong, but this was inspired by the fabric featured on Spin the Dawn's cover, in case you were wondering. So if you want a bowl, actually, I'm gonna get a bowl. Hi. <laughs> so this is how you use it. A, a bowl in your fingers, and oh god, I would spill this on myself so bad. <laughs> but yeah, you, you eat. The soup. Okay, next. Ooh, this is crafted, handcrafted, handcrafted by Motherland Essentials. And it's a plant based soap bar. Oh, yeah, this is one of the um, hands, not hands, but one of the reveals they did on their Instagram for it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Hi, Boo Boo. Huh? Can you come here? Does this smell good? Yes. Like, yes, but no. I don't think I would like this. I, yeah, I don't know if I'll use it. Which is kind of wasteful. I'll use it. I'll use it. Eh? Eh. Eh. That's my rating. Eh. Oh, yeah, by the way, the soap, Solstasia Festival, inspired by a song in Raves and Ruins? Raffs and Ruins? I swear, I'm studying to be an English teacher. Anyway, yeah, this. Um, mm, I will tell you after I use it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Ooh, these are interesting boxes. What is this? Ooh. Oh my god! Wait, I'm actually... Oh god, it's stuck. It's, it's, um... Give me a minute. Alright, that was like 
10 minutes. It's a wind chime. Good news is, I now have a house. I'm renting a house that allows for me to put wind chimes up. So I will insert clips during this right now. Team Owl Crate created these woven in moonlight inspired wind chimes to add a bit of celestial magic to your home. This is a, ooh, I don't know what this is. I have no idea how to put this together. I don't know what it is. Let me read you the description. Charge your phones and e-readers in style while catching some Z's. What are the star touched queen inspired bamboo phone stand designed by Lady Chubb Letters. So it does go like this, maybe? Like put your phone there with the charger in the bottom. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure how to put this together. This is the one that makes the most sense to me. I, I don't know. Also, cute quote, it says, show me a dream unrealized. I haven't read the book that it's based off, so I have no idea what that means. But pretty, look at how pretty it is. It would go like this, but mm, yeah, I don't know. All right, next, this is cute. I'm loving the boxes that these are in here. Let me show you. So the phone charger thing came in this really pretty cardboard box. I don't know, right? The wind chimes came in this that show off like the galaxy and stars and constellations. It's so pretty. And then these are like, ooh, I don't know if you'll be able to see these. These are like little pink flames, I'm guessing. I don't know, okay. description time it says add some empowerment to your hygiene routine we've included one of our favorite powerful quotes from girls of paper and fire on this useful glass nail file again another book i haven't read i should read these maybe later maybe next year we'll see super cute i actually really like this really really pretty actually it, like blends into each other the only problem is i bite my nails i'll blame anxiety on that um, so I have no nails. It's pretty. Yeah, let's do the pin. Yeah, let's go for that. When the shadows rise, so will the light. It's huge though. It's like half my palm. So really pretty. I'm like, ah, I don't know. The wind chimes though, I absolutely love the wind chimes. Cue another clip of them. They're amazing. I love them. They're so pretty. Everything else is kind of like, eh. Ah. I don't know, I wasn't really feeling this box. September box, top notch. Absolutely loved it. This box, eh? All right, well we have two more things. We have a complimentary audiobook of Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifuko. I am so sorry if I messed up their name. Realsies though, I'm probably not gonna read it. So hit me up if you want this. <laughs> so it says, Libro FM has provided a complimentary audiobook exclusively for Owl Crate subscribers. This is the first book in the West African inspired YA fantasy duology, and it deals with themes such as loyalty, identity, and belonging. Perfect for fans of Tommy Adejemi and Saba Tayir. Ray Bear. Okay, now I'm interested. Never mind. They'll message me if you want it. Uh, we also have a sneak peek into. We Free the Stars by Hafsa ba Faisal. Hafsa Faisal. I will learn how to pronounce names, words, speak English at some point. Don't hold your breath. But yeah, we have a sneak peek of this. It is not an arc. Yeah, that's really nice of them. Uh, this book comes out January 2021. So if you're interested, look for it. Do I know what it's about? No. Am I gonna read about what it's about? Also, no. Finally, we have reached the moment of truth. Oh, by the way, the book <laughs> is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Beautiful cover, beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, let's, it's obviously signed. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. This, look at this. I love when like the book, like the actual hardcover of the book is like a different color and not just black or white sometimes, but like white sometimes is like different. 
don't know. But like, it's not just a basic black with just the name. I like when they just add the details on these. Because some people, me, hate reading with these with the things on. So I usually read my books without them. And so this is what people see. And this is a beautiful thing for people to see. And there's like, whoa, what is this book? What is it about? I'm interested because it has a cool like inner cover. Anyone else? No, just me? Great. Oh, and these books so far have like the past couple of books have come with like a different fan art, no, not fan art, that's not the word, with a different inside cover. So that's interesting. The only weird thing is, for this one specifically, is that these are like embalmed. That's not the word. Is that the word? I don't know if that's the word. But it comes with <laughs> these letters for the title, and you can, I don't know if you can see it here, but you can feel it on the inside cover. So if you turn this around, Legendborn is gonna be backwards. It'll be the back side, so I guess that doesn't matter. So yeah, gals, this is it. We also get the letter from the author, and this is the book. I'm actually like semi-interested by it. Let's see, Let's. what is this book about? Um, after her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Bree Matthews wants nothing to do with her family memories or childhood home. A residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill seems like the perfect escape until Brie witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus. Oh! You know what I've noticed has become very popular? Boarding school cults. Boarding school, like, educational based. Where cults or magic and witches, things, occult stuff are happening. For example, Deadly Education, which we just got from Owlcrate last week. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot more books like that this year that I can't think of, but definitely that. Oh, The Broomsticks. Books and Law, I guess, published a video on this. But yeah, anyway, I'm not even gonna look it up. But yeah, there's a lot more like of that. Bunny. Bunny is another one. I haven't read that. I really want to read that book. But yeah, anyway, that's Owl Crate for this month. The month of October 2020. That was the book. Um, kind of eh. Cute stuff. Really cute stuff, but... Hey, yep, that, those are my thoughts. Anyway, please comment, like, and subscribe. And of course, I haven't been here in a really long time, so hopefully I'll be posting more. I won't say I will be posting more because do you guys know me? Let's be real. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, week. Until next time, bye.